being able to put storage on the grid is absolutely essential for future green energy and also absolutely essential for smart grid application. Rather than thinking of the battery system as one silver bullet, it's more like 12 silver bullets. Energy storage isn't just about saving it now for use later. It's really about reliability. There's many more things that energy storage can do to make our grid more reliable, more resilient, and save energy. They could be multiple containers up to 100 megawatts. They could be in a building that's 100 megawatts. A typical containerized battery system contains everything you need for an energy storage system except for the power conversion. It contains the battery racks, the battery control racks, the DC disconnect switches, the fire suppression systems, the cooling systems, and the communication systems. As a turnkey solution provider, we have a whole host of services for our customers, from applications and sales engineering, through the grid integration, installation, and commissioning, and the service and support to stay with that system throughout its life. Everybody thinks that what we do is we sell energy storage hardware and equipment, but really what we're selling is grid reliability. To make today's grid more flexible and accommodate ever-increasing amounts of renewable generation, of changing load patterns, distributed resources, distributed generation, and energy storage is one of the most powerful tools to increase the security and stability of the grid. In Massachusetts, it takes us about eight hours to build and test a full rack of energy. It takes us about four days to build and test a full container system of energy. We also have facilities in China that can increase that production capability. The nice thing about the NEC system is because all the solutions are containerized, it's easy to install it, connect it as necessary. Because our 32 megawatt site at Laurel Mountain was very compact compared to other solutions, we were able to install it right at the point where the wind turbines would be putting their power onto the higher voltage network. One of the things that's important for the energy storage system is its reliability. It needs to be able to offer that 32 megawatts every hour, 24 hours a day. Our customer in Chile needed something out in the middle of the desert, and it was a highly changeable load right at this large substation. As a power generator, it helps us because it replaces the spinning reserve, so we free up that reserve. Battery systems are a new technology, and this is the first project of its kind in the UK. Northern Power Grid selected these six sites because taken together as a whole, they represent about 80% of all of the UK's electrical grid. Each site presented its own problems, mostly with physical constraints. Because we are trying to get the batteries located directly next to the loads into the small neighborhood. The primary reason for having six different batteries at various scales, some being large, some being medium and some being small, is that we can fit them across the entire range of our distribution network. In Hawaii, one of the concerns was, of course, the environmental sensitivity of the area. So we needed to just be sure that all of our installation processes and all the equipment that we were using to install the equipment was suitable to the environment. We've been working on this project with NEC, and it has been a great partnership. Clean wind energy combined with battery storage is a better solution for the environment and for the people, for the community. We've installed hundreds of megawatts, and we've never had a safety problem or a reliability problem. We've installed systems in the desert. We've installed systems inside of neighborhoods. We've installed systems in very, very cold climates. Most of our systems have a 99% availability record. This is achieved through our modularity of the system design and where we try to design systems with no single point of failure. So we're trying to be a lot more agnostic about the technology that we integrate. And we know that there's lots of different types of energy storage and each one has its strengths and weaknesses. And so as a system integrator, we're very focused on providing the best solution to solve the problem. So we have to choose the right tool for the job. The state of California is a leader in mandating energy storage be used on the grid. And we were one of the first people to install a system in Anaheim, California to meet that mandate. Energy storage solutions started out in containerized type systems. Today, those systems are building based uh, and it can be scaled up to hundreds of megawatts. You don't need to be a grid operator to take advantage of the solutions we provide. Now we're shifting our focus to behind the meter opportunities to serve the users of electricity, much like we've been helping the uh, utility side of the meter. I think it's going to be a very powerful tool to allow the users of electricity to control how they use electricity, how they uh, get charged for electricity, and how they themselves can help create a more uh, reliable and stable grid. 
Having NEC as a parent gives us a 125 year plus company with a global footprint, global sales force, global supply chain, a very, very strong financial footing. The vision of energy storage on the grid is now a reality. NEC Energy Solutions has been installing energy systems on the grid in commercial operation for over a decade. You're probably never going to notice that the fact that batteries have been connected in your neighborhood or in your factory or in your basement, they're just going to be part of the network the same way that the copper wires are part of the network.